and higher in the 21st century. Hardworking people working hard for you and me. Moving higher time and time again. Through the years you'll find us here. Moving higher. Hello and welcome to Moving Iron Podcast. I have a special guest this week and his name is Bill Albaugh and I've known Bill for a while and Bill is working with a company called Heavyworth and Heavyworth is a, it's a, it's a, it's a internet company that's developed a, an app to help kind of streamline the evaluation process for dealerships and Bill is going to be part of uh, a farm equipment web seminar series um, that's going to explain what Heavyworth is and what this app does and how everything's worked but First off, Bill, how you been, and and uh, what's going on out there, man? Doing really well. Thank you, Casey, for having me on. I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, you and I go back just a couple couple years. Mm-hmm. Just a few. <laughs> back yeah. to even caterpillar days, I, I think. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, but at any rate, um, Heavyworth has developed this app. Um, and this app, it, it, like what Casey said, is, is a streamlined version of doing tr- uh, trade evaluations. You know, as somebody who has sat in the seat of, of receiving trade evaluations from salesmen um, in all different capacities from the standpoint of some of them come in on email attachments, some of them come in on text phones, some of them come in on, the, you know, written down on a legal pad. Um, and Heavy Work developed this app to help kind of really streamline that process as it flows into use equipment evaluator. So basically, you've got, you've got your app on your phone. Salesman goes out to the farm. He fills in customer name, address, email address, um, make, model, serial number, takes a picture of the serial number plate, walks around the piece of equipment, hopefully, and takes a whole bunch of different pictures. And then there's a box to put in, you know, any problems or history, and then clicks a button, and it says capture or review or evaluation requested. And whoever is receiving the uh, who's ever doing the evaluations on the dealer uh, at the dealership level receives an email with a link and he clicks on that link and right on his computer, all that information comes right up there. Customer name, make model, serial number, all the photos. The evaluator goes through his process of how we, however way he evaluates that trade, trade, whether he uses tracker house, whether he uses um, whatever data he uses and plugs that trade evaluation number in and clicks finalize and sends an email link right back to the salesman. What this accomplishes is it keeps the salesman out in the field where he belongs to go from farm to farm to farm doing trade evaluations. He doesn't have to drive back to the, to the store or to his home office, download pictures on it, on his computer, um, put the attachments together, send an email and then wait around for the evaluation. From an, eval- from an evaluator standpoint, the person that's receiving the evaluations, it catalogs it. So on his computer, it's going to have John Doe, Scotts Bluff, Nebraska, 8370R, right, and catalogs right by the customer name. So if, um, as you work, work through the trade appraisal process, let's say two or three months down the road, customer decides, well, you know what, I, I think I do want to trade then you can go back and find that catalog of that trade evaluation, look up and see what numbers you put on it, or if you need to tweak the numbers based off of different market conditions, uh, it's right there. Uh, so that's in a nutshell uh, how the app works. And, and again, it, it's as simple as what I'm saying it does. You can walk around a piece of equipment in five to ten minutes, click all the pictures, load all the data, and click a button, get back in your pickup and move on to the next the next customer. So is there a place on when you're taking the pictures that I can take a picture with my finger on the tread bar of the tire? So, yes, you know, absolutely. So, you, so you know the depth yep. totally? That way, yep. cause <clears throat> that's a pretty standard picture I got quite a bit when I was evaluating stuff was the, the yeah, finger and, and the tread and, tire. Um, on, the, on the 27th, um, yeah, <laughs> and sometimes they weren't exactly the tires that came in on trade either. <laughs> Not always, <laughs> that's, no. that's a whole other story. Yep. <laughs> but, but, um, uh, Seventh at two o'clock Mountain Time, three o'clock Central Time. Uh, I'll be on a webinar with Farm Equipment Magazine, and in there will be a video of myself doing an evaluation using the tool, 
and and on one of the focus, I think one of the shots of it, I actually do put my hand on the tread of a track on a combine mm. um, to highlight that. Awesome. Well, good deal. Um, but I want to I want to emphasize that this tool does not set the set the evaluations for you. Okay. Uh, you still have to manually put that number in there based off of whatever um, whatever means that the evaluator uses to evaluate their trades within that specific dealership. So this is a, uh, a data collection app, Yes. right? So I'm gathering all the data that I need to send to the evaluator so he can he or she can sit back and say, all right, based on the data I have, this is worth this much. Now, I'm assuming that this email that they get, it gets it's through a like a like a desktop version of that so they can – pull that yeah. data up and not work on their phone yeah it, it's um the email or once they click, click um uh that they want the evaluation done mm-hmm. it sends that email link to the evaluator he just clicks on that link right on his computer and he can access it now they can also access the catalog off their phones as well okay. so they can refer back to if 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 he's standing at the farm in one of those situations where the customer's got to know that very minute and he could theoretically do the trade evaluation and get a number back within 10 or 15 minutes and have it right back on his phone with an email with the evaluation on it. Mm-hmm. So uh, how, how long are those um, evaluations active in that catalog? As long as you, do you delete them? Or? As long as you want, okay. as long as you want them. Gotcha. So it's a kind of a Rolodex of everything that you want to do. It's a good way to go back for an evaluator to go back and, and look at past evaluations they've done of similar yep. machines and those kind of things, kind of get a baseline of what they've what they've done. So does the data that they that you're storing in there as far as pricing data goes, is, is that is that data um, like forever there, like stamp, like there's like a an area where that, that information never goes yeah, away? It's, yeah, it's under the evaluation tab. Gotcha. There's okay. an evaluation tab, and, and that data stays right there. And, and, for instance, I do some evaluation work for a particular dealer, mm-hmm. and I put in retail, cash, and book, you know, for the three numbers, and that stays there as a, as a, as a uh, permanent number. Gotcha. Right on. So is there a uh, – are you, are you affiliated with any kind of a uh, uh, company that can give you values, like, say, uh, Fast Line Tractor House, something like that? Is, that? is that something where you can pull that data in from someplace, or is that, is that a different – different step at, for at down this the road. point at this point we're, yeah. we're not doing that gotcha right. uh this is just basically a, a data uh data collection tool to streamline it right because you know the uh one of the dealers that i have on this particular system already mm-hmm. if you know what he what his comment was he goes he said man he goes I've get, i get emails i get texts i get drop boxes i get you know you name it i get it and and it, it's and and he has a he has different stores that are spread out over a couple different states. Mm-hmm. And he said, you know, in history, he has to go look for that email or he has to go find that text right. or he has to, and, and um, you know, everything now is right there for him. Yeah. So when you're, when you're dealing with, um, you have all this data collected and, and you have this information collected in there, is there a, like how do I get it to websites from there? Is there, is there, is there a functionality for that or is there a different process for that? Run the buy one more time. So if I have the, when I once I have the data collected and the evaluator's done, guys done the evaluation, everything's good to go. Um, machine becomes an inventory piece, and I want to get it advertised on the various websites I advertise on. Is that a different process that goes into that, or I mean, how do you how you collect it, the it, data? It can be uploaded into your dealer websites. Okay. Um, you know, if you want to use the on the farm photos, mm-hmm. um, you know. Or you know, if you really wanted to go out and use your use it on your inventory that's out there, you could do it as well. Right. Um, Is there ways to section off? Like, uh, for example, I have a large customer. Um, he's got twenty pieces of equipment. I'm going to uh, doesn't necessarily trade it every year, but he wants uh, kind of wants to kind of get an, uh, an update of where it, where they're at in a particular piece of equipment for whether it's tax reasons or whatever it might be. Is there a way to, to catalog that just by by customer that this is a customer folder or just as all the machines just kind of fall into the yeah into you the could mix. you could theoretically have a customer for john doe mm-hmm. and and have all 20 of his pieces on there gotcha and up and, and update it every month or every two years however way you want to do it mm-hmm. um, so i can easily search that by by john doe yeah and it pops up with everything we've done for john doe yeah it'll pop up with everything that he gotcha. has right on 
Okay. So it's like, you know, if a guy sends a, a combine and a corn head and a, and a grain platform in, mm-hmm. it's going to catalog under his name under three different pieces. Gotcha. I gotcha. Right on. Okay. Um, and, and, and another thing that this system can do is that we can, we can integrate it into CRM packages. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, uh, and and uh, dealer software as well. Okay. Right on. So kind of give a little background on what Heavy Worth is. Heavy Worth was a company that was that started in about 2017 mm-hmm. doing evaluations for banks, um, attorneys, um, uh, estates, um, financial planning, that type of thing. And so they started this app as a data collection tool to go out to, you know, for the bank to go out and, and look at the guy's 43 different pieces in his fence row. Um, and so then, you know, kind of the light bulb went off and said, hey, you know, this is pretty, <laughs> this is pretty slick. You know, I bet dealers might be able to use this, and that's how this has all evolved. Gotcha. Okay. And then... Uh, and it, it's, it's as user-friendly. Um, you know, you can teach a salesman how to do it in five minutes. Right. That's saying something. If you can do that, yeah. yeah. Well, most most dealer salesmen. <laughs> if you have a, uh, give a little background on yourself. I mean, who, who's Bill Alba and how did you get hooked up with Heavy Worth? Oh man, that's a that's a really long story. I'm not sure I want to bore everybody with the details, but um, native of Central Iowa, um, spent seven years working for Agco in a couple, two or three different capacities. Got off the road, uh, spent time case construction, and then a Caterpillar dealer. That's where Casey and I first met. Um, and then basically been in the John Deere world since then until a little over a year ago I decided to get out on my own with uh, used equipment. Right on, right on. And uh, Bill is in in Colorado there and, and uh, on that north east kind of yeah. quadrant there. For Morgan, Colorado. Yep, right in that. Right up there. So there's a lot, a lot of stuff going on. Bill, as you take a look, what's going on in the marketplace right now? What are some of the some of the takeaways you you got? You want to share with the folks out here? What's What's interesting is there's still activity. I mean, usually, usually after December 31st, things just die for two months. Yeah. And uh, there's been some really good activity this month, which is which is uh, um, it, it's re- it's refreshing. Mm-hmm. It means everybody's attitudes are fairly decent. Um, tractors are still hot. Um, you know, John Deere, you know, case tractors, um, even, you know, I even get some inquiries from Agco dealers looking for challenger tractors. Right. Uh, so there, there's, there's still good activity. Right on. As you kind of, what's the one takeaway you want to make sure folks get when they come to this webinar on uh, the 27th? The one takeaway is this is a very cost effective way for them to manage their use, help manage their used equipment evaluation process. Um, there's there's too much room for error in this business. You know, Casey, you and I have been around this for a long time and on the used equipment side. And, you know, not good information, right. not good photos, you know, not a good process leads to errors and inventory sitting in inventory sitting in, in yards too long because it's overvalued. Yep. Um this this helps with with the dealership's expenses because it keeps their salesmen going from farm to farm to farm. And he doesn't not drive him back and forth to the office to download photos to send an email. Right. Yep. Yeah. Nice thing about services like these are um, how it streamlines everything and, and it makes it easy to. I mean, with today's technology, with iPads and iPhones and Androids and all the tablets that are out there and everything else, um, as long as you have cell phone connectivity or internet someplace, you can kind of work wherever you need to and get that information in and. We've done it a million times. You and I have done this done this for a long time, and you don't necessarily get you know. Always the funny thing is you know this is a ten or this is a seven or this is that the other thing. Everyone's version of that is, is so catastrophically far apart that it you know you can't yeah. categorize any one person's number that in that way. And you know I was joking about the the finger on the tread bar thing, you know, I mean, yeah. no one's finger is the same length as another person's finger, you know, so, <laughs> you know, you don't, you don't ever, yeah, it's just one of those things you don't necessarily uh, take into consideration, but pictures is worth a thousand words, you know, and if you take good solid pictures and you get a, a decent idea of, of hours and specs and those kind of things, um, kind of streamline at least the information part of it, 
really does go a long ways in how everything kind of works together for the guy putting the on the other end that has the unbiased opinion of, of what the market is. Yep, I, I agree with that. I couldn't I couldn't agree more. And I mean, that's why I'm doing this. That's where my passion is, and and um, and, and I, that's why I enjoy being part of the heavy work team. Wow. Another another little no little thing with it is um, the anything in that catalog is exportable. And when I when I say it's exportable, you can export it into a PDF file. So all the photos, all the information that you plug in there, um, can be downloaded and sent to a prospective customer or, yeah, you know, however way you want to do that. So well, Good stuff, Bill. If you wanted to, how, do, how can folks find out about this webinar and get signed up for it? Um, go to Farm, Farm Equipment Showcase, I believe it is. Okay. Uh, and they can, they can sign up uh, through their website, I believe. Um, I'm not sure what the mailing list is for Farm Equipment Magazine, but I'm sure there's been something sent out and, and announced or it's going to be sent out. But it's the 27th at 2 o'clock Mountain Time. Um, and I'll be there and we'll have slides for a presentation and a couple videos and a testimonial. Um, if not, uh, they can reach me um, at 970-539-4286. Again, that's Bill Albaugh, 970-539-4286, or at bill.albaugh at heavyworth.com. And our website's heavyworth.com. So uh, you can go to the website and take a look at us as well. And that's all spelled like it sound, right? H e a v y w o r t h, right? Yep. Heavyworth. Hey, I'm impressed. I'm, you know, you learn something new every day, Bill. I've come, <laughs> I've come a long ways. <laughs> come a long ways. So, uh, um, what I'll do here, if you guys want to go to movingironllc.com, I'll put this up here in the special events page, and uh, you'll see this information here, and you can uh, get the information from there as well, and and you guys can join that way as well. So. Bill, anything else you want to throw out there about about the seminar or or, or uh, anything about heavy work that you think you might have left out? I think we're good. Okay. Casey, I really appreciate the time and um, look forward to work, continuing to work with everybody. So. Right on. Well, good deal. Bill Albaugh, appreciate you being on here. I'm Casey Seymour with Moving Iron Podcast. Make sure you check me out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's where you're going to find the latest editions of the Moving Iron Podcast. Also, check out movingironllc.com. Get the latest information about the Moving Iron Summit. Um, Bill's been to that a couple times. Um, yep. Pretty good event and uh, a lot of stuff to see there, a lot of networking opportunities to come from that. Also, Absolutely. Also, a uh, good time to uh, just uh, kick back and, and see some – see some old faces or put faces uh with names so for once so it's uh Absolutely. it's one thing about this business you you see a lot of people you meet a lot of people over the phone and you never actually see their face so it's a good place to go do that at so make sure you check out moving on llc I'll, I'll get this up on the special events tab you see it up top there on the navigation bar and uh give uh give bill and his crew a opportunity to show you what they can do on the 27th on the Farm Equipment Magazine uh, seminar there. So, Bill, again, appreciate you being on. And uh, Thank you, Casey. Appreciate it, man. Look forward to working with you in the future. So with that, I'm Casey Seymour with Bill Alba. Let's go with some iron, folks. Out. Mm-hmm.